Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build an awesome robotic arm. The robotic arm itself is exceptional. Also go ahead and build the awesome controller, so you should definitely stick around to the end so you can see both. Start off by cutting out the rough shapes of the parts I'm going to need for this. And I just cut this out of a foam board that you can get from the dollar store. So we'll skip ahead and these are all the pieces I come out with. Now we're going to start at the base. The base is going to be powered by this little electric motor that I got. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and stick a small piece of straw and glue it into the base. This is going to be used as something to rotate our gear inside of. Now I cut the gear down to size and put a lid on top of it. Next we're going to build the sides. So we just go ahead and glue the sides on there and that should secure the uh, gear into place so it will always mesh with the motor now. Now I'm going to drop a top piece on top of it and glue it on top. Now we're going to go ahead and just add some uh, colored paper for aesthetics and we can go ahead and hook it up to a battery and test it out. And if you flip the battery around, you can see that it goes in the opposite direction as well. Now we're going to start building the part that um, does the rotating part of the arm, the up and down movement, I guess you could call it. Now we're going to drill a hole in the arm part of it. And we're going to stick a straw through. Um, in this, you'll notice that I just use straws often as uh, something for the axle to rotate inside of. It just gives less resistance than the axle, than the wooden axle rotating inside of the foam. So I attach that in there, glue it into place, and then uh, stick a gear through it with an axle. We'll cut that down to size as well. And now we're going to go ahead and add the arms onto the gear. Now the arms aren't secured onto the axle, so we have to go ahead and glue both arms to the axle. And the gear is already tight against the axle, so we don't really need to add glue there. But if your gear isn't tight against the axle, you should glue it onto the axle. And now we have our arm in place and glued together. So now we can just add our little um, gearbox motor in there. And as you can see, it meshes very nicely. Now we can go ahead and add some power to the arm, and as you can see it moves up and down fairly easily. I'm going to go ahead and mark some uh, spots for gears, and these gears are going to be used um, to control the pincers, or the grabbers. Now we're going to go drill a hole uh, where each gear goes, and again I put the straws through. So now we're going to cut out the grabbers, and I just cut this out of foam. And um, what we want is uh, one grabber to interlock with the other. So that's why one of these are wide, and one of these are just one thin piece. Now you can go ahead and put the grabbers through and attach them onto their um, axles. And we put the gears through as well. Now we have to go ahead and attach the grabbers onto the axles. So for that I just use some glue. And I use a toothpick just so I can get in that uh, tight space. You should add some super glue to that too maybe. And as you can see, it meshes very nicely. Now we just have to cut out a slot to put the motor in there. And once I have a little square cut out, I can slide this little motor through. You can use the big motors that I used as well. Um, it's just the big motor takes up more space, it would have to sit on top and look kind of ugly. So the small one um, still works well, it's another gearbox motor, so I just use that instead. 
Now we're moving on to making the remote. So to start off, I just get a thumbtack and I wrap a wire around it. Now I'm going to punch that into the top of a water bottle and I'm going to do that with four other thumbtacks so we get something like this. Now I'm going to get two of the wires, well one wire, and attach it to another one of the thumbtacks and then the other wire we're going to attach to the uh, other thumbtack and just wrap it around the metal there so it makes good contact and that's what we get. Now I can put a lid on top of it and poke the thumbtacks through the lid. And now you can see we can turn it back and forth and from a bottom view this is what we get. We get one set of contacts, the other set of contacts. So that will make it go in forward and then in reverse when you twist it the other way. Now if we attach the battery to the very top contact and the bottom contact we just attach to the um, motor, you can see that it rotates it very nicely in both directions. So now I just multiply that by three. Now instead of a battery, we use a USB cable as the power source and then each um, individual lid is hooked up to a motor. And as you can see, our motor can uh, rotate in all of the directions that it needs to. So now let's test it out and see if we can uh, pick something up and do a little bit of work with our mechanical arm. So as you can see, it can easily pick up a bottle cap and uh, move it around a bit, play around with it a bit, and then uh, put it back down. And it's even precise enough to pick up some electrical tape afterwards and uh, get that inside of the bottle cap. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching to the end. Now if you like this, please uh, feel free to like and subscribe. That would be appreciated. Thanks.